Hey there guys, it's Tina and I'm back and I hope you guys are all doing well and staying safe. So in today's video, we are talking luxury, we are doing fancy and bougie, like get into this makeup. I am really loving my makeup today guys. Like look at my skin, like come on, this is giving me everything that needs to be given. I am so excited to share these products with you guys. So like I said, we are playing in luxury today and the brand that I am showcasing is Shantakai. They recently reached out to me and offered to send me a few items to try out. I also pulled in products that I already had in my own collection because it's a brand that I've dabbled in here or there. There are a few products that I know and love. And I also discovered some new gems here that you're gonna see me apply throughout this video. But they recently reached out out to me and mentioned that they're going to have their holiday sale and they're granting my viewers my subscribers early access you can use my code Tina 25 to get early access to the sale and get 25% off a select list of their top sellers now not the entire website will be on sale but they have the majority of the products that I used in this video on sale and some of their best sellers as well so you can definitely check them out in case you're curious and you can get 25% off which I think is a great sale for a luxury brand because luxury brands never usually go on sale and if they do it's like 10% 15% or you have to get them through Sephora or Nordstrom or one of those ways but this time around this is 25% off now the code is not an affiliate code so I don't get a kickback it's simply a discount code to grant you early access and get you guys 25% off and I actually just use it to pick up just you're gonna see <laughs> I'll mention it when I get into the video but I actually did go ahead and order a couple of products mid video but like I said we're gonna play with Shantakai makeup today we're using their complexion products so I have a foundation I have their concealer I have their powder their bronzer we have a couple of their blush products to try out as well as this beautiful highlighter so if you want to see how I accomplish this look oh I also use their eyeshadows but we're gonna go ahead and apply this makeup we're gonna walk you through the products you're gonna see them in action so in case you wanted to grab something that you saw me try out that you're intrigued by you can get that 25% off so without much further ado let's go ahead and jump into this get ready with me luxury edition so I can showcase these beautiful products from Shantakai all right are you guys ready to get fancy with me because that's the vibe that I'm getting from all of these products right now they're very bougie and I think I'm gonna go for a very light and effortless look something very simple and subtle nothing too colorful or bold because when it comes to luxury products they tend to be very neutral very basic and we're gonna do that right now so already filled in my brows I didn't apply a moisturizer though. Probably I need to go ahead and do that. This is the Tidal Brightening Enzyme Water Cream from Sunday Riley. I am almost done with this and I am so proud of myself. I'm about to film an empties video with the products that I've used up so far because my bag is full. And honestly, I just want to get rid of it and start over. I have some products that are on their last legs but I'm not gonna wait for them to be done. I'll just start over with those products, but right now I just wanna get rid of the products that are currently in my little empties bag because they're just piling up and I need to get rid of them. So, ooh, yes, all right, so I'm gonna allow that to sink in while we work on the skin. Ooh, child, did I show you my little, it's the Black Obsidian Gua Sha Tool. I picked this up from Sephora. So it's a obsidian stone tool and it has a specific shape that is meant to massage your skin, give you a lifting massage. So this is supposed to lift your skin. It's supposed to stimulate circulation and collagen and all that stuff, you know, you know, as you do and also help with lymphatic drainage. I don't know how any of that works. I just know it's quite soothing and I've been doing this every time I apply my moisturizer so I just figured I would show you guys I've just been doing this little lifting motion which they show you to do and I'm sure there are other methods that you can use with this 
but I'm not ready to research it and like really fully invest. I'm just doing what I saw in the little promotion video and see how it works for me. And so far, it's very calming, it relaxes me. I just feel like it's a great way to get the blood circulating in my skin. Like, you know, get her moving, child. And I don't have an issue with fine lines and wrinkles just around my eyes right now, but like I don't have forehead wrinkles. I do get Botox probably once or twice a year. Let me know if you guys want me to talk about my Botox experience. I only get Botox right here in my angry lines because who them 11s okay they they are just deep and crazy and for me it's more preventative than reparative because those lines i already see them getting very deep i'm like ooh, i don't want to be that one so i just do a little botox right here just a couple of units nothing too crazy and i do it again like twice a year i think yeah twice a year and then my hair is usually in a ponytail like right now and it prevents me from making certain expressions like really frowning so it helps to keep my skin nice and fresh and i don't know i think that has a little bit to do with it but i do have like lines around my eyes because i laugh a lot and around my mouth because smile lines and who cares you know aging is a privilege like people don't want to speak about it but let's speak about it aging is a privilege why are we talking about that i don't know let's go ahead and do a quick eye look i am grabbing these mermaid eye products this is the mermaid eye matte is that what it's called it can't be called that i was wrong that's literally what it's called so this is the shade elephant and it's just a perfect taupe shade i love this so much and they also have single eyeshadows this is from their Vanishing Series collection where they work with six different charities across the continent of Africa to help with the preservation of these endangered species. So I love that charity aspect of Shantakai. They're using some of their profits towards a good cause and they're helping protect these beautiful majestic animals. So again, this is the elephant shade. It is so beautiful. It's a, mm, let me show you what it looks like right this is like my perfect taupey shade and it has a little bit of silver gunmetal reflect to it i might incorporate this a little bit i'm thinking because this is luminescent and the mermaid eye is matte so i'm gonna grab this and go in first i'm just gonna oh let me zoom you in child come on in come on in so i'm gonna just pop this on my eyelids Ooh. I love these shades. So when I'm looking for a one and done, well, I don't really do one and done. If I'm honest with you, I do like three and done, maybe two and done because I'm going to do an all over lid shade and then add a little bit of depth in the outer V and maybe just maybe I might add an inner tear duct highlight, but it's mostly like two minimum. I don't just do one shade. If I'm honest, I always want to add a little bit of depth, but these colors like even though it's matte, like look at the, it just applies so beautifully. It blends so easily and it just, it just gives that beautiful wash of color. It adds a little bit of elegance to the eyelids. I love these. And another one that I'm in love with is Sylvie. So this one is more of a tan. And even though it says matte, it gives a little bit of glow. It's not like a flat, dry matte. And you can even see from the elephant shade, it's matte, but it's not like a dry matte. And look how it just blends into the skin. This is what I look for when it comes to luxury makeup. They're gonna be very effortless. They're gonna be easy. They're gonna look like one with the skin. They just add a little bit of interest to the lids, but they blend in like second skin. And I love that when I'm going for something very simple and every day so these eye matte colors I love them so much they're some of my favorite things from Shantakai and I have quite a few shades of them because when I initially tried them out I was like all right I'm in love thank you so much so this just gives me that perfect gray look to the lids that I am in love with now I need a matte like gray shade in the outer V. I'm going to pull in something that's not Shantakai or Luxury. This is the Cool Vibes palette from Violet Voss. I love these cool tones and I'm gonna grab this matte dark gray shade. And I'm just gonna apply a touch of this on the outer V. I'm not trying to go overboard. I'm not trying to go smoky. I just wanna add a little bit of dimension to that outer V. Like I said, with these looks, I tend to keep them very simple, very basic. 
I'm not trying to do the most and I'm not going to use like a black of course because the black would just be too much but this gray will add just the amount of depth that I want oh yes like look at that like right isn't that cute so for these simple looks this is an easy way to do them three colors max you know I'm gonna do more just because I'm trying to showcase some of these products and I feel like I need to go in with the luminescent shade and elephant as well we already used the mermaid eye matte mm, that's so good and I'm gonna grab the shimmer shade like how can I not it's so pretty let me pick that color up on my finger this is not my preferred way to go but with these shades, they're not overly pigmented. They're not too intense. So your finger is going to give you the most impact. You can also go in with a damp brush, but I don't want to do that right now. I feel like my finger is the way to go with this. And again, it just gives a subtle sheen to the lids. And I love these taupey shades. So without question... My favorite products from them would be the Elephant shades, just because it's this gray, taupey shade that I am definitely vibing with. Y'all, so pretty. And I'm not gonna do anything more with the eyes. Even my brows, I'm not gonna highlight because I feel like the concealer that I have down is enough. You know what though, I will add an inner tear duct highlight. I'm going to use the tan matte shade that we spoke about, Sylvie just to brighten up that inner tear duct ooh, that may be too tan and too brown yeah it's a little bit too brown you know what let me just get that on first and then i'll add something else over it oh that's such a good color this is such a good one and done shade because it literally looks like my skin i actually used it in a wear test for a foundation that i was reviewing so I will link it over here with a timestamp so you can check out how it looks on my eyelids. But yeah, it's really pretty, but it's not giving me everything I need. So I'm going to actually grab one of their duos. So this is the duo in Tibet and it has the silvery taupe shades. So I'm going to grab this shade right here. Do you love that my nails are also bougie, but see that shade? Yeah, let's use that on the inner tear duct. I feel like I want to dampen my brush though, just so we get that glow on the inner tear duct, because like I said, these shades are a little bit more on the subtle side. Oh yes, I feel like this duo would work really great with the elephant shades because it is more silvery well not silvery it's more taupe it's definitely not silvery so you see how the inner tear duct that lighter shade is given a little bit of glow but it's not too over oh my god i'm so in love i think i just found a new look guys like an easy go-to look right you guys know already that i love a good taupe inner tear duct is looking a little harsh on this side let me blend it out because i dampened my brush so it's going to create a harsher line but i can just blend that out quickly all right now there is some fallout on my face so just keep that in mind that is from the luminescent shades so if you don't like sparkle and shimmer on your skin Go ahead and apply your foundation after your eyeshadow. So since we're doing bougie and luxury, I'm going to use my Gucci primer. I love this primer so much. It works so well. And I pumped out way too much. But it feels so good on the skin. I can even use this without a moisturizer because it's just so hydrating and smoothing. And it really helps my foundation to glide over my skin. And it also adds like a slight glow to my skin. It's not like a dewy glow. It's more like my skin looks hydrated and fresh. And I really like it. It has a slight fragrance to it, but it's not heavily scented. So I really like this primer quite a lot. And like I said, it kind of smooths out my skin. Feels really good and helps my foundation stay in place. All right, are you ready for the foundation? So I'm gonna use the Future Skin Oil-Free Gel Foundation. So once I heard oil-free and gel, I was all about it. So this says it's an innovative oil-free gel foundation with a refreshing lightweight texture and a unique formula with 60% water. 
So that means it's gonna be hydrating, right? So it says future skin transfers moisture into the skin without the use of oil as an emulsifier. It's made with reflective circular pigments that provide adjustable coverage from medium to full and ease the appearance of flaws. It's also loaded with natural botanicals including aloe, chamomile, and arnica that calm irritation and soothe sensitive skin. Rosemary, green tea, and rice bran help prevent environmentally caused oxidation. Ooh, so this is crafted in Japan. Very expensive though. These are luxury products, okay? So it has a luxury price point at $79. The shade that I picked up is Suntan, which matches me almost exactly. Like, it's almost perfect. As I lighten up, this might be a little bit too dark, but right now it's the perfect shade. It's so beautiful. Now this is described as a rich brown with deep rose undertones. But it doesn't come off too rosy, which I was happy about because I'm like, oh, oh, I have more olive or neutral undertones leaning a little bit more on the caramel side or honey side. So I was a little bit apprehensive. The shade looks a little bit rosy in the pan. It did make me nervous. But it blends in with my skin really well. And with other powders and stuff on my face, it will balance out the color. So even though... It's a little bit richer than my skin tone and it has more of a rosy undertone so it's gonna translate a little bit darker. It actually works out with all the other products that we'll put down. And it has a beautiful skin-like finish to it and it feels like a gel foundation. It feels very lightweight and it feels wet, almost like you're applying water to your skin which is an interesting texture. I've never really felt that from a foundation before. I felt it with moisturizers like my water gel cream. You feel that watery texture, but not from a foundation. So I find the texture very interesting. And I keep layering this up. I don't know why, let me grab a little bit around my mouth. It just feels good on the skin. It has this cooling feel as well because of the water. I'm gonna build up a little bit of the pigmentation around my cheeks where I need it. And I definitely agree with that medium coverage. It covers everything that I need it to cover. It looks very good on my skin, even though it's a little bit more rosy than I would normally go for, and it translates a little bit deeper and richer. But look at this, like look at my skin, right? Yes, and I can't tell that it like foundation is on my skin. Like, look at that. I'm coming in real close so you can see. Do you see how that sits on my skin? Isn't that nice? That is really nice. I got all up in your face right now, but I was very surprised by this foundation. I haven't tried a foundation from them as yet. So when they reached out and offered to send me a couple of products, I definitely wanted to get one of the foundations. And I think it's a pretty good skin match. The shade range is not very expansive. They go one more shade deeper than this, which is not very good for them at all. But if you were looking for a shade match and you use me as a reference, this shade suntan would probably work out for you. So I'm going in with the concealer as well. This is the Anti-Fatigue Corrector Pen, this Le Camouflage Stylo. This is shade number eight, which is a little bit light, but when I swatched it out and blended it in my skin, it actually blends in without leaving behind a cast it's light but it's lifting and brightening without looking ashy on my skin so you see that even though it looks light initially it blends in really well with my skin and it dries down a little bit deeper than you would expect when you initially apply it so it actually works really great it feels very good as well under my eyes and that, de ooh, that definitely brightens and lifts the under eye. I am happy with that. All right, you know it wouldn't be a Shantakai video without their perfect blur finishing powder. 
This was originally limited edition. It came out with one of their holiday collections and people were so in love with this. They raved about it that they had to relaunch it. And there are also now two shades available. This is the deeper shade, which is medium deep. So here is the light medium and here is the medium deep. Now this powder is on the sheer side. So even though it looks like there's color to it, it's actually a sheer translucent powder. It's a finishing powder. So it's not meant to add coverage. It's just going to finish the skin and give a beautiful blurred look. And I really like the light one. So the light powder can actually lift this deeper foundation so it doesn't look as deep. While there's no color to it, it's still gonna brighten a little bit. And it feels like nothing on the skin. It looks like nothing on the skin. It's just given a beautiful blurred appearance to your complexion. And when I originally tried this out, I was like, what's going on? You know, initially you're like, oh, it's doing nothing. And then you apply it, you blend it out. And throughout the day, you're like, my skin looks amazing. So you just need a fluffy brush to apply this. Like I said, this is the light shade. So don't be afraid if you're my complexion to get the light medium shade. If you're looking for a shade that will lift and brighten, I got both because I wanted to try out both. And this is a special edition packaging. I think this may still be available. So it has raised flowers on the front. Do you see that? It's like 3D textured. It's really beautiful. It's white and then you have the powder inside, of course, with a mirror. The original packaging looks like this. It's just a hard dimpled plastic. Like you see the little dimples. Really beautiful as well, and this one is cheaper. So the special edition packaging is more expensive. This one is the deep powder. And again, it doesn't really add color, but if you had a deeper complexion, this would be the way to go. If I was wearing a foundation that was my perfect match or a little bit lighter, I would go in with this one. But since this is a little bit deeper, you see now it kind of balances out the depth of the foundation itself. All right, next up we have the bronzer. So this is their real bronze. I have the shade Goa. This is the deeper of the two shades that are available. Similar packaging to the powder, it's just in red. Really beautiful packaging. Now they don't feel very heavy. They feel a little bit lightweight in the hand, but they're beautifully designed. This powder bronzer, I used it in a get ready with me video. And I was a little bit nervous because it doesn't really show up on the skin intensely. It is very buildable. So it's light and you may not see much color initially, but as you build it up, you will see this beautiful bronzed effect to your skin that's gradual. It's not intense right away. Like look at this side of my face and then this side and watch what's gonna happen. It gives a beautiful simple bronze to the skin and I'm using a jumbo base brush from Sonia G this is gonna pick up more product and pack it on a little bit more heavily so if you want to get the pigmentation you're gonna need a denser brush if you use a fluffy brush with this it's not gonna give you the color payoff but you see how it just adds a little bit of dimension a little bit of glow and when I was editing the video and looking back I'm like that bronzer actually looks amazing on the skin and it's lightweight and airy so you don't actually see powder you don't know where it starts or where it ends it just looks bronzy on the skin and I really like it I ended up really really liking this I'm not gonna lie I was a little bit apprehensive initially because I'm like oh where is it but then as I looked at my skin from a distance which is what you expect from luxury products they're gonna give you a subtle look they're not gonna be heavy and this just hits it out the park I think their powders are amazing they did such a great job with this bronzer and with the blurring powder, I just think they can expand the range, especially for the bronzer. This can go deeper because if you're deeper than me, it's not necessarily going to show up. But a couple of you actually commented on that video and let me know that it works beautifully for you as well. So I was happy to hear that feedback and you can leave a comment below if you've tried this out and what you think about it. I really like it. It gives me that beautiful 
luxurious like <laughs> I am high-end right it's really pretty and now I'm going in with the cheek shade in joy this is for the wild horses look at that little horse isn't he cute oh my god I also have one of their jellies I'll show you the swatch of this one this is a cheek jelly maybe I can try this it's in the shade vibrant it is a hydrating gel cream blush that can be used on the cheeks and eyes Ooh, all right, you know what? I'm gonna try this first. It kind of matches the blush shade. So I'm gonna pop that on the back of my hand, work it around. It's like a raspberry shade. Ooh, and then pick it up on my brush and tap it on my cheeks. Oh, oh. When anything says gel in the name, I'm automatically intrigued because gel means it's gonna be a little bit more lightweight and not heavy and it's probably going to dry down so I feel like you know what I want to read the details on this does this say it's water-based as well like the foundation because it feels very oh that is so pretty it's not very intense like it looks intense initially but ooh, mmm applying it and like my skin is looking so good right now and I like that about Chantakai's products they just look pretty even though I have like powder on and everything it's not picking up it's not looking blotchy I think I may have discovered a new favorite blush hold on now ah now I gotta read the details on this there are four shades available and I'm about to pick up the peachy shade in Lively. So Vibrant is a flirty raspberry, which is exactly what I would say. It's a raspberry shade that looks stunning on my cheeks. Oh my God. Ecstatic is a sheer vibrant shade that gives the... Mm-hmm. I am ready. I'm about to add to bag. Thank you so much. Yeah, I definitely need that peach shade because this is reading so well on my skin right I am so in love with this right now I don't even know what to say apart from it looks very subtle on my skin it looks one with the skin come on come in come in let's show you it looks like look you see it I don't even have to talk I'm not gonna talk like do you see what's happening right now it looks like my skin is just blushed it doesn't look like product how are they doing this? <laughs> I'm like, what is going on? What is going on, Shantakai? Do I need to make a call? Because y'all are doing it for me. I was going to go in with the Joy Blush. This is the cheek shade. It's a powder one. I'm going to still do a little bit of her because she has a little bit of shimmer on the top. And she's a little bit on the raspberry side as well. So I'm just going to, you know, I'm going to still use her just because I, I intended on using her. That is so pretty. I think they're hitting it out the park with these products. I don't usually go on the luxury side because I'm like, oh, they're subtle. I'm into color. But the older I get, the more into subtle and beautiful I am. Like, I, I just look at her. Oh, my God. All right. So I have a highlighter as well. So I asked them to send this Eclat Brilliant Face Powder. Look at the package. Like, look at this packaging. It's so stunning. It's like flaked gold, but this is a resin. Oh, it's so pretty. Wait for it. Look at the highlighter. Oh my God, it's like a champagne, but like rosy gold at the same time. I mean, it looks really icy, but if I blend it out, like look how beautiful it blends out. It's not sparkly or sh like it's not glittery at all. It's just wet. Do you see that? Now I do have to be careful with a product such as this that it doesn't get too silvery on my skin. So I'm not going to apply too much, but I need to apply it. I'm going to use a natural hairbrush from Sonia G for this. I ooh, she intense. I wasn't trying to do all of that. I'm just trying to be very subtle with this. It blends out really well. Oh, <laughs> I'm about to lose my mind, guys. But it blends out so well and it blends into, it's blending into that blush really well. To, 
Do you see that? So on this side, you're like, what the hell is that? But then on this side, you're like, oh, I see what you did there. It's given me glamour. It's given me sophistication. It's given me luxury. It has given me all that needs to be given. I really like that. Now, you have to be a little bit more careful with this if you're not into the stark highlight. But I think that really works well for me. Right? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the eyes with mascara. I'm probably gonna pop on some lashes, a little bit of black liner, and then just a gloss, and I'll be right back to show you a couple more of the products and just go through some swatches so you can see the other products that I have in my collection. All right, so finished up the eyes, popped on some lashes and a deep brown lip. You know I'm giving you eleganza, like, come on! Are you feeling it right now? Because I'm feeling it, all right? I'm doing very cool tone. My lipstick is from Huda Beauty. It's one of the cream lipsticks. This is the shade Self Made. And look, look. Can you even right now? I did outline my lip with a darker brown lip liner. I'm actually using one of the Kat Von D, well, it used to be Kat Von D, this is the lip liner in Crucifix. I don't know if they still make these. And then in the center of my lips, I have a little bit of Lifter Gloss from Maybelline in the shade 02 Ice. Right, like, look, look, look. Wait, wait, I'm gonna give you the pose. Ready, ready? Y'all can't, okay? Y'all can't stand me right now, okay? Look at my skin. Oh, let me finish up with one more product from Shantakai. This is their Pure Rose Water. I wanted to get the orange blossom rose water as well, but it's sold out. It's out of stock and I'm like, oh, this rose water is so refreshing. It smells so good. It's just a hydrating mist. It's not meant to set your makeup. It's just going to hydrate and give you a lift and I like it for that. Now it's pricey, so it's not necessarily something that I'd say run out and get. But if you wanted to get the travel size, they do have a travel size. For me, that one is definitely just plain old luxury because it has that fresh rose scent. It's made from the roses in Italy. It's like a whole situation. And I just love the smell of it and how it makes me feel. But it doesn't add like dew and glow and it doesn't do all of that, which I appreciate because I have oily skin. It just gives your skin a little bit of added hydration and it doesn't get overly glowy. And... Can we talk? All right, I said I was gonna wrap up this video with um, my final thoughts and we'll talk about some of the products and give you some swatches. Overall, what do you think about this look? My skin is looking so good right now. I zoomed out, but I'ma zoom back in so you can see. Like, look at my skin, right? My skin is looking so amazing. It's feeling amazing, it feels comfortable. I have a glow that's not too crazy, mm-hmm. The lips, you like the lips too. But the eyes, very subtle and beautiful. And like I said, you can use these mermaid matte eye colors, whatever the name is, to do just a simple wash of color on the lids. And they work really well for that. So I am definitely in love with my skin. So foundation, getting top marks for me, they don't go really deep in this, which is probably my only major gripe with Shantakai and with most luxury makeup brands. Their shade ranges for their complexion products are very limited. They don't tend to cover deep, rich skin tones, and I don't like that, and they definitely need to work on that. But if you're my complexion, maybe even slightly deeper, you can use this one, which again is suntan. They also have a deeper shade, which goes a little bit richer. I'm not gonna lie, they do have that richer shade, but again, not an extensive shade range. But I do really like this because it has that water gel texture doesn't feel heavy on the skin, but looks beautiful and it's buildable and it's not accentuating any lines. Everything looks so glowy and so beautiful. I just can't get over it. So I do really like the foundation. The concealer is kind of so-so for me. The shade I got is number eight. I don't think I mentioned that, but the concealer, it does brighten and lift my under eyes. It looks pretty. But I wouldn't like run out and get this like, oh my god, I have to have this because I have other concealers that work equally as good or better. So the concealer, while nice, it's not like, go get this. The foundation, kind of like, hmm, maybe you want to try that out. The blurring powder. 
Hands down, one of the top three products that I've tried so far from Shantakai. One that I would definitely recommend you try out. If you're darker complexion, go for the medium deep shade. Again, it's more on the translucent side. It is a finishing powder. It's not going to give you coverage. So even though the shade may seem, ah, that's not going to do anything, it isn't. It isn't going to add coverage. It's not going to add color. It's just going to blur your skin. So when I take trips now, this is the powder that I take because it looks so good on my skin. It it works with any foundation that I wear. I can wear it alone with primer or moisturizer and it just blurs the skin. It adds this finish that just looks, it looks like my skin, but somehow filtered, somehow better. And I'm like, I am with you like you're not trying to cover me up you're just trying to accentuate all this glorious melanin and I really like it so definitely highly recommend that you try out this powder now you don't have to get the pretty packaging this is really pretty but I'm obnoxious so of course I got it in this packaging but the regular packaging works really well it's not really heavyweight heavy duty the price point is a little steep but I'm telling you this powder is definitely worth it another thing that has grown on me and surprised me is the bronzer the deeper shade again here's where they can expand their shade range but i do like the shade on me like look at my skin you can't tell like i'm wearing a bronzer but it definitely added that bronze to my skin it's subtle it's a satin finish so it's not flat matte it looks like my skin it just looks like i add, i got color like i was out in the sun and i got a little bit of a little suntan and i really like that if you're lighter than me this might work out but they also have a lighter shade but if you're deeper than me mm, maybe this won't work out as well but if you're my complexion and if you use me as a shade match i think this works really well if you've used this bronzer give us your feedback tell us your complexion like your shade match and let us know how this worked out for you because i'm interested to hear what other people have to say but i've heard good feedback in the comments about this one so i'm just wondering like what other people have to say but i really like it and then another one that surprised the heck out of me this is the cheek gelée hydrating gel cream blush in the shade vibrant that's the shade that i picked up i did not expect a lot from this when i initially swatched it i was like okay cute but when i applied it on my skin like look at it you see the blush right but it's so subtle that it looks like i could be actually blushing right now it is so pretty on my skin so much so that i just went ahead and ordered <laughs> i ordered the peach shade i told you i was gonna order it i already ordered it because i'm like i need this in my life this is so pretty so i ordered the peach they have a berry tone they have a few shades i'm saying if you have oily skin and you wanted a blush that is a beautiful flush on the skin you didn't want like heavy impact you're afraid of liquid blushes because you think they're going to be too intimidating this works really well and it works well with your fingers as well you don't have to use a brush but if i had to recommend any brush for cream and liquid blushes i would recommend the smashbox blurring foundation brush it is just beautiful it's a synthetic brush it works really well with cream products and liquid products to just blend them out on your skin I mean, come on, I can't get over how much I like this. I also like the little powder blushes. These are the cheek shades. This one, again, is Joy or Wild Horse. There was a little overspray that is now gone, but this is a beautiful blush as well. It's more pigmented than I expected. I actually picked up another shade of this. I think I picked up Turtle. <laughs> so I like this. It's small, it's compact, it's pricey, but she is cute. So I'm just saying, I like this as well. Don't necessarily run out and get this. I would recommend the jelly blush first, but really nice. The highlighter too, stunning, and they have a limited edition like pearl highlighter. It is beautiful. I swatched it in store, so it is, it's a little bit too light. It has like a very pale, icy, light pink base, so be careful. You can definitely blend it out and blur it on your skin. It will definitely work for that, but... It's a little bit too icy for me. But this Eclat Brilliant shade though actually worked pretty well on my skin. So what I did is I applied this a little bit more intensely on my cheeks, like my full cheek area, just to give that glow. So all that glow that you see is this and I blended it out and then I topped it very lightly with the cream jelly blush. So I went over the highlighter with the blush so the highlighter became a part of the blush to give me that glow. And I think that's how I'm gonna start applying my highlighter from now on. Instead of applying it on top of blush, I'm gonna apply it under my blush so it lifts and adds the glow to my cheeks. And I think this looks so beautiful layered. 
So I do like this as well. So if you were interested, this one is a really pretty one. Next up, we have the eyeshadows. So the mermaid eye colors, definitely love these. I have Sylvie and Elephant. Love these. These are beautiful. I think these are so stunning and they're easy for simple everyday looks. They also have shimmery ones. This one, I don't want to open it. Is this the broken one? No, oh, this is fine. So this one is hematite and it's more of a purpley taupe. Just in case you wanted to see what that shade look. Oh, look at that, right? So these shimmery ones have a little bit more glow than the matte ones, but I think the matte ones are fantastic because they have just this natural glow to them. Really, really love those. I know I showed you Sylvie, but I didn't show you the swatch, so let me show you what that looks like. You see how that's just an everyday color for me? And this is one of the matte ones, but you see that slight glow? Pretty, right? And I showed you Elephant. That's the one that we have on our lid. This is the silvery taupe one, which has some shimmer to it, some beautiful sparkle. I'll come up close in a second. We also have the zebra one cute this one is more of a rose gold so i'll swatch that next this is really stunning this would pair well with sylvie so you'd have sylvie on the lid and then you'll just go over it a little bit with zebra and then i also have the giraffe one which is a warmer coppery bronze well no it's a deeper brown bronze this is pretty as well so here are those three so we have elephant zebra and giraffe in case you were interested in any of those shades. I also have the duos. I didn't swatch these. So this one is in Monte Carlo. It's Grace and Riviera. So here are those two shades and here they are swatched out. These are really subtle, beautiful shades as well. Again, with luxury brands, they tend to go very simple and easy. And then of course you have the Tibet duo, which has Lusana and Himalaya. These are also really beautiful and that would make a beautiful taupey eye. Remember we have the lighter shade on the inner tear duct. So there you have it guys. Some of these I've already had in my collection like the duos and the mermaid eye colors and then a few of these I've just recently been trying out and I'm just so excited to play in makeup and play with new products and discover new favorites because this foundation is giving it to me. The powder, already knew I loved it, but this blush definitely blew me away and the bronzer I have fallen in love with. So I really had fun playing with these and hopefully you guys also enjoyed this video. So again, if you wanted to go ahead and check out the Shantakai pre-sale that's going on right now, it goes live to the public on the 25th so you get a little bit of a head start. You can get 25% off. The majority of these products, not all of them are on sale though. The products that they sent to me like the foundation, the concealer, the highlighter, the gel cream blush, these are all on sale. You can get them for 25% off, but the little blush was not 25% off. I ordered it anyway, but it's not 25% off. And the blurring powder is also 25% off. So you can get a jump start. Get some of these products on sale if you're interested. Again, my code is TINA25. I will leave the link down below so you can just click through. It's not an affiliate link, okay? And this code is not affiliated. It's just a discount code that they sent my way that will give you guys early access to that 25% off. That doesn't go live until the 25th for everybody else. So you kind of get that little head start to pick up the products that you're interested in. I will list all of the products down below in case you are curious or so you just forgot what I said I will list them all down below so you can know what I use to achieve this look and I will also leave links to my Instagram and Twitter where you should be following me along we have fun over there especially on Twitter I just listen I tweet out anything that's on my mind so definitely follow me along and if you like the video go ahead and hit the thumbs up button that also helps me out and if you aren't already subscribed go ahead and subscribe like what are you waiting for we have tons and tons of fun here on this channel so if you wanted to join the fancy fam now is the time to do so and until my next video which will be very soon I'll talk to you bye guys